Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, and then up here is Rapoa doing the thing, so let's find Rapoa. you three units rapidly approaching. Here's me Shay. You know what three units means? So she, uh, them as usual. We wait for you, Apollo. No, wait, that's... Look at these idiots. Beautiful. Switch on! Switch on. That's not Aquarian! That's right, Jiro. It's the pride of Japan, of the super robot, Geta Robo. But its form and size are different from the Geta we know. Here's Ryoma. He's a good boy. This is the new reborn Geta, Geta Dragon. Ryo! A Hayato Musashi in there too? Here's Hayato. Musashi died during the final battle with the Dinosaur Empire. Musashi? No! We'll talk about it later. Right now, we're here to help you guys. Can you do this, Benkei? Here's a Benkei, Musashi's replacement. He's a fat idiot. That's his job. I made a promise to Genki, so I'll fight too. We're counting on you then. Huh. So there was another three robot combinable mech like Aquarian. But I thought Apollo was going to show up because we were fighting fallen angels. Nothing to worry about. No one can best our powered up Geta Robo. Not even fallen angels or demons. Show me what you got then! You bet! Come on, Fallen Angels! And now we'll uh, fly in. Um, that was pretty good. He's pretty good. He's the flying one. The robot, it's his robot S against the air. It's fucking incredible. Um, and then it can turn to the slightly faster but stuck on the ground Hayato version, get a Liger. And he has predict and counter and stuff. And he's that. Yeah, so when he's in the lead. Okay, so when he's in the lead, S rank on ground. When he's in the lead, S rank in air. When Benkei's in the lead, S rank in the water. But it's mostly not going bad. And he's got um, the Ghetto vision. I believe. So he's got the double image. And he's really good. And then, uh, get a um, change attack is different depending on which one you have. And then, there's Benke. He's the slow one, but he's the most armoured one. He's alright on the land, and it's Poseidon. Get a three. Well, that went damaged. Support attack. So he's in kind of you know, the best toolkit for his job. Just a big fat idiot is his deal. He's got missiles and stuff. Oh, how high time does not accelerate? Jeez. It's going to take forever to get there. So, the Dinosaur Empire. An underground kingdom ruled by reptiles evolved up from dinosaurs, led by Emperor Gore in the name of the great devil Ular. Uh, the reptiles led an assault on the surface in the hopes of recapturing it. The reptiles indeed ruled the surface in the past until the unexpected arrival of Geta Rays from outer space from deep underground to the magma land. This also explains their deep hatred for Geta Robo, which uses Geta Rays as its power source. For their final operation, the reptiles created the invincible battleship Dai from the greatest of the Mechasauruses. However, Dai was lost when a command machine raid ignited the cache of explosives in its batteries. This led to the death of Emperor Gol himself and the collapse of the Dinosaur Empire. So, Dragon Strong all around them can fly, but expensive energy. Liger, Liger is agile and dodgy, and Poseidon's tanky. Like you just to 
get in the truck at this point, so you don't die. Um, -da 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 -da. Squad leader bonus handy, transform freely without worrying about terrain. Uh, Dragon doesn't make other things fly though, so it's kind of opposite there. Uh, Liger and Dragon, yeah, you use Liger and Dragon the most. Yeah, so it's mobility down the buff. Thing's cheeky little grin though. It's weird, with three hands. Turkish delights of me or whatever the fuck. Bazooka, that's why you're in the front, Lauren. Okay, this thing. Awful cherubim. Oh, cherubim. It's Kelvin and cherubim combined for a pun because they have ice moves like that and another support defender or whatever. And not gonna reach an enemy. Alright, buddy, you're trying. He's going to split himself with a big rifle. Why can't he attack the angel in front of him? But that's okay. So don't worry about it. Put the leopard in front. These jokers all hurt that dude a lot, apparently, but not enough. Crashes a plane into a guy, and now there's only that one dude left. Uh, go on, I get it. Let's do these jokesters. He's even 
we're going to use the Vulcans because he's cheeky to finish him off. Very nice, very nice, Mr. Control Veggie. So we did it. And the Hayato is impressed with Benkei's skills. Brilliant. Uh, Benkei laughs and says, after all the special training Hayato put him through, he'd have a hard time not learning a thing or two. Uh, Toga assumes that, they that these guys came from Japan. And Ryoma says, that's right, and uh, they're here to guide us there. Afrim's like, oh, why is that? And Ryoma says, to protect it from the forces of evil. And she's like, what the heck's going on in Japan? And Jun's like, but wait, if there's nothing left in the way. And she says, the exodus is over, we did it. Adet says that get, like, he's like, Gain and his hero don't seem like what I would call happy. But Gain's like, win win, we did it. Winning is a win, let's go. And uh, he hopes that your pan ceiling will be turned into uh, be a huge celebration right now. Our mystery girl, Cynthia, is meeting with kids here. And uh, she calls Kids Month, the Siberian Rail President, tells him a Kashmir and Timp losing. Uh, she says there wasn't much that they could have done when facing not only the uh, Exodus people, but also Zaft Breakers, Super Robots. And Kids is like, oh, well, I guess I have uh, no choice but to acknowledge the Exodus as a success. And any interference, any further interference would be pointless. But he still wants the Black Southern Cross and his associates punished as a way to restore uh, honour. And Cynthia's uh, alright with anything as long as she gets to fight with the king again. Uh, Kids wonders if the reason why the fallen angels attacked Japan ceiling would be that they're wary of King Gainer, but Cynthia's like, I don't care, they're just jerks because they messed with my fight. But Kids has a feeling that King Gainer's power could be useful, so he tells Cynthia to capture it once her squad's ready. And she gives him a big thanks, and then Kid says, Come back with uh, Kashmir and the others right away so I can have a talk with them. She's like, Sure, but remember your promise. Chang's up and Kid's like, hmm, the fallen angels, arc enemies of the overmen, are acting up. And then he tells Asham Boon, I think he's Asham Boon, and uh, that you might have to deal with him. And he's another Dio. Um, yeah, he might have to deal with the angels as he goes up against the Black Southern Cross. And Asham's like, I'll do whatever it takes as long as I get another chance to fight Gain. And. Kids then turns to Angel and offers to show her around. And she's like, sure thing. And she adds that with the power of the Overmen, uh, he'll be able uh, to spread Siberian Rail's tracks throughout the entire world. And he likes that idea. But Ashram isn't listening, he's just in with going, GAIN! Doesn't matter where you go, I'll chase you to the ends of the earth and back. Fuck you. And then... Inside Japan ceiling, here's uh, Gaha, and he's kicking off uh, celebrations. <laughs> Fucking pugger dude, I love him. Um, and here's Pelar and Manman, and uh, they're considering uh, the, the huge journey they've done and the long way they've come. And they didn't expect the world to get this crazy when they left Volgusk. Uh, but that's all in the past, with the Exodus coming to an end. And uh, they're all going to live here without having to rely solely on Siberian Rail. So, big cheers from the crowd. Uh, Gain comes over and he's like, wow, nice uh, celebration, wise men. And they're like, yeah, thank you for making this possible. And he's like, nah, Zeus's uh, help was just important during the end game. And speaking of Zeus, we've already started our preparations to cross the sea to get to Japan. And, uh, Gaha is uh, impressed with our enthusiasm, but they won't be joining us because Japan Ceiling's residential units can't make it across the ocean. But they can live in uh, this land that's pretty close to Japan, so it's good enough. Uh, Citran, lady with the eyebrows, asks if Gain will be joining. And he's like, no, I don't think so. I'm an Exodus contractor after all. And with the Exodus complete, i got to go find the next clients. Yeah, he walks over and he says he's got something to discuss with the wise men. Uh, 
is Gainer looking over to see Japan, and uh, Sora wonders why he didn't attack uh, Gary back then. He's like, it's not out of forgiveness, don't worry about that, but it's something that I can't and don't want to do. But uh, he wants to go to be burdened by everything uh, he feels, and he wants to live out his life as best as he can. And then, Gay and Gary show up, and they said, I heard everything you said, buddy. And uh, Gary says he won't ask for forgiveness, he's content to do as he said and live on with this burden. And Gaynor accepts that. And uh, Gary says he's more than free to punch him if he wants. And Gain just punches the shit out of him. And he's like, Gain, that was a huge sucker punch! And he's like, Gaynor wasn't gonna do it. And he's uh, asked if Gary's feeling better. He's like, yeah, I'm all right. And Edette's going, oh, 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 just having a huge fucking laugh. Oh, 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 fucking. Oh, just that one. Uh, Gary's like poking fun of how ridiculous it is. I get it. And he's like, no, no way. I saw a real man in your way of life, and I might have fallen for you. He's like, good, but. And uh, despite how weird things are gotten, Gaynor thinks that Gary's will be fine having found his new path. And he thinks that everyone's uh, doing fine. Even your pan ceiling folk who are celebrating the Exodus uh, success. And here he is. He hasn't really achieved any sort of goal. None of his grief or doubts have been settled. And he's still confused as ever. He did do that thing where he said he loved Sarah, though. But I guess he forgot about that. So Jiren comes over and is like, then you should continue with the Exodus then. Jiren, if your goal isn't here, then it's someplace else, right? That's right, you choose your own goals, Gainer. He's like, Gainer, bro, Gainer, bro. My own goal, my own exodus. As a matter of fact, we decided to keep working together with Zuth after this. You can't help but laugh at it. Before we even knew what was going on, we were already tagged as wanted men by the feds. You come this far, so might as well go all the way. If they come after us, we'll hang in there. Is this yours and the other's exodus, Jiren? I don't know. The guy you choose to pursue isn't always clear from the get-go. And Lauren's here too. He's right, Gainer, but it's hard to decide your goal as you go along too. What's important is to never stop walking. I think we'd rather stay indoors and play games again. That's... In that case, come with us then. My exodus. Alright. So the game comes here and is like, alright, I'll oversee your exodus then. They even give you a special discount as a contractor, as a way of paying you back for pushing me so hard today. So, Gain's uh, joining Zooth for real, and Gain uh, feels like he hasn't fully paid his debt. He's going to do so during our journey. And so, Sarah's coming too to keep an eye on him, make sure they're pulling their weight and acting as befits uh, men of Volgusk. And uh, Gary will join as his mission with the Japan ceiling's over. And a date will go anywhere he goes. Bellow sees Gainer's determination, and there's his friend. He's gonna follow too. Well then, it's the new Exodus. Gary Squad, hip hip, hooray! Uh, hooray! I can't hear ya! Hooray! Fucking Gainer. And nearby, Diana is looking worried. So she were, uh, is like, Are you concerned about Gainer and everybody considering their Exodus? It's like, No, no, I'm, I'm fine. And then inwardly, it's like, mm, the fallen angels, overmen, and the white doll. Is this uneasiness that I'm feeling? Some sort of omen? Uh, and then we got this other bullshit with Rand, but he's not here and Sensuko doesn't bother. But here's Gaino, who's now looking hopefully towards the sea, knowing that Japan and the rest of the world are waiting on the other side. And maybe the goal of his and Sarah's exodus. Gary versus Kashmir. You're one of those brats that you're the disgusting things, aren't you? Feel like hearing some more? Stop, I can't stand lovey dovey couples. And Jiren just yells, I want a giant lizard. 
He's like, do he thinks I'm going to hesitate if he just yells out what he's thinking? Oh, I want to eat till I'm full! Ooh, his yelling's not disgusting, it's just noisy. And the Ghetto Boys yell, and Hydro's like, relax, when Kano has asked you to replace Musashi with a new Ghetto team, and you're one of us, so fight in your own way. And they won't forget his spirit. Watch over us from heaven, or whatever, and I... Shh, we don't... Yeah, we don't get the secret thing, so we can't buy the thing. We do get another one of these things, and these things are alright. So, I'll buy one of them. More PP is always good, but... Yeah, right, I'll buy another menu. I'll buy another one of them. And that's that, in the recording. But yeah, on Rand's route, there'd be a secret to get.